So 2015 uh, was quite a busy year, but 2016 is looking like it's going to be even busier for HR professionals and for employment lawyers in-house. Uh, there are three areas we really wanted to touch on this morning where we think you're going to need to be looking at these areas to prepare for 2016. Firstly, the Modern Award Review is ongoing um, and the Fair Work Commission is continuing to look at both award-specific issues and at common issues. Now, those common issues are looking at things like annual leave, uh, flexible working arrangements, uh, part-time and casual work, um, and um, antenatal leave uh, for employees who are pregnant or a right to return to work on a part-time basis. So lots of key areas there which the Fair Work Commission is focusing on and it's going to be important to be registered with the Commission and getting regular updates about what is happening uh, so that you can ensure that you're continuing to comply with your modern awards. The second area of focus we're expecting uh, is in relation to accessorial liability and that's where you can be held accountable for other people's breaches of the Fair Work Act. Uh, Mark Sant recently did a video update on accessorial liability and, and the four key steps that you can take to minimise your exposure and I recommend that you watch that if you haven't watched it um, and look at implementing things within your organisation over the coming year to address those issues. Uh, we're expecting it to be again a high level of focus where the regulators including Fair Work Building and Construction and the Fair Work Ombudsman are really testing the bounds about how far um, that liability can go and, and it's likely going to mean that HR practitioners are going to need to be much more involved in the supply chain within their organisation and in looking at the procurement practices uh, to minimise that risk of an accessorial liability claim. So the final area of focus we're expecting in the next year will be some significant legislative change. We had the government introduce a bill last week uh, looking to vary the Fair Work Act already um, and that's clarifying transfer of business between associated entities. It's looking at uh, individual flexibility arrangements and them being terminable on 13 weeks notice rather than the current four weeks notice. Mm -hmm looking at limiting the right of entry for union officials um, to hold discussions with employees so that they need to be covered by an enterprise agreement and then finally clarifying the payment for annual leave on termination um, to resolve that uncertainty. We've already got that change happening uh, but we've got the Productivity Commission report also has been handed to the government and it must be released by May of next year. Uh, the new Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has already signalled I guess a greater appetite for legislative change and he's indicated that they will be taking the Productivity Commission's recommendations to the upcoming federal election. Uh, that's clearly going to be an area to watch and we're expecting there will be um, some significant resistance to a number of the recommendations. Coupled with that, uh, Commissioner Hayden will be handing down his report into trade union governments by the end of the year. Uh, that report um, will again, we expect, inform the uh, Liberal Party's policy for the election uh, for 2016. Um, we've already seen uh, that greater appetite for change I was mentioning before and the unions are already starting to respond to that um, and it would be expected there's going to be a very similar campaign uh, to the Work Choices campaign opposing any uh, variations to the Act which could be detrimental to the rights of employees. So a very big year ahead. Um, it's going to be important for HR practitioners and, and for employment lawyers to be preparing for that and factoring these various things into their planning for the coming year um, to ensure they're able to respond, uh, to comply with the laws when they do change, but to take advantage of the opportunities which may become available as a result of these changes.